This tutorial is about creating variables using the Recode program. We saw in the previous tutorials how to transform variables on the fly. However, we often want to create permanent recoded variables for future use. In that case, we can use SDA's Create Variables feature. OK, let's click on the Create Variables task button here. And we can see that we have three choices, Recode, Compute, or List Created Variables. And in this tutorial, we'll show how to use Recode, which is the default procedure for creating new variables. Let's start by recoding a single variable into fewer categories. We'll use the education variable in GSS called EDUC, which shows the years of education that the respondent completed. OK, let's start by clicking on this variable, which will move it up here to the selected box. And we'll click on the View button to see a frequency distribution of the variable. And we can see that the original variable has codes ranging from 0 to 20 for years of education. And there are two missing data codes, 198 for don't know and 99 for no answer. Uh, what we want to do is to create a new variable with only three codes for years of education plus a missing data code. And we'll call the new variable educ3c and give it a label of education in three categories. OK, let's get rid of this window, go back to the recode form. And first thing, we enter the name of the new variable. So that's educ3c and the label. We'll call it education in three categories. And there's a box here for uh, choosing the option to replace that variable if it already exists. We'll go ahead and click that to make sure that our variable gets created, even if there's already one called educ3c. And finally, we want to uh, enter the name of the existing variable that we'll use for the basis of recoding here. It's just one variable. It's educ. And now we'll just click anywhere outside one of the input boxes. And we see that a form for entering the reco recode rules has popped up. So we'll have three categories we want to enter. The first one have a value of one. The label will be high school or less. And that will have the original category 0 through 12. And we'll have the second category be some college. And that will include the original values from 13 through 16. And the third category will be postgraduate. And that will be category 17, 2. And now we know 20 is the highest category in the original variable valid value, but we can just put in an asterisk, which means in SDA the highest valid value. That means we don't really have to remember or know what that value is. Um, we just put in an asterisk. OK. Um, now the question is, what do we do with those original missing data values? We can click on this link, help link, and it will give us a lot of information about what we can do with those values. But the easiest thing uh, to do, and often uh, the best thing to do, is simply to have SDA convert them to its own missing data value. OK, that's all we need to do. Click on Start Recoding. And a new um, tab has popped up showing us the new variable that's been created. It was based on the original var variable educ. It shows the recode map here. And then here's a frequency distribution for the new variable. We've got it recoded into three categories. The missing data values have be, been turned into uh, system missing in SDA. 
and uh, that's it. Okay, let's do something a little more complicated. Uh, let's make a recoded variable based on two original variables. We can go down here and click on clear the fields to get started with our new recode. Okay, let's say we want to create a new variable that will have four categories, men under age 40, men over 40, women under 40, and women over 40. Let's call this new variable sex age and give it the label sex by age. Okay, so the new variable will be called sex age. The label will be sex by age. Uh, again, we'll click on replace the variable if it already exists. And now for the names of existing variables to use for the recode, we'll have two this time. One will be sex, one will be age. And now when we click here, a form will open up. And notice now we have two columns for one for sex and one for age. Okay, the first value in the recoded variable will be one. For a label, these will be males less than 40. And the values of the original variables that we'll put into this first category for sex, it will be one. The sex variable is just coded one for male, two for females. For age, we'll put 18 to 39. And value number two will have these be males greater than equal to 40. Sex again will be one for males. The age this time will be 42. We'll again use the asterisk for the highest valid value. And number three will be female, less than 40. Here for sex, the code will be two, since two is females in the sex variable, and age, 18 to 39. And four will be female greater than equal to 40. Again, sex will be two and age will be 40 and above. Okay, that's all we have to do. We'll stick with converting the original missing data codes to SDA's missing data code and we'll click on start recoding. Okay, and we can see now the uh, description of the new variable. It's called sex age. The input variables that created it are sex and age. We can see the recode map that we just filled in. And here's a frequency distribution for the new variable. The new variable has four values. And has 202 missing data codes, we can see. OK, that's how we recode a new variable. Uh, in other tutorials, we'll be covering the creation of new variables using the compute program and using the list of graded variables.